Greetings everyone, Free here. Welcome to the demo today. In today's demo, we're going to look at HearTech. HearTech is a data labeling uh, software designed to help teams manage training data sets in one place. The platform and the tool helps teams and organizations in the AIML space add management annotation capabilities to facilitate collaborative data labeling, quality assurance, and analytics across uh, different data sets, be it structured data, unstructured data, to achieve accurate and competitive uh, AI and ML model creation. Yetech is the organization behind the open source platform called Label Studio. Uh, Label Studio is an uh, open source platform for uh, data labeling. You can certainly go in, install this with PIP, and go ahead leveraging that. There is also a managed version, which is what we're going to look at today for our demo by uh, Yetech, uh, still leveraging the core label studio, which is certainly available for teams that want a SaaS experience. So if you're going to go open source, you can certainly go ahead and leverage the open source version and install that yourself. But if you want the SaaS experience, uh, you can certainly go in and leverage uh, the Yetech uh, SaaS experience. That said, let's jump into the demo. Once we log in, it does bring us to an environment that looks uh, similar to this. This is my account. You can invite folks. You can see billing and some other configurations. Now let's go into projects. Projects is where you would be doing work. So here, let's create a project. So let's call this a DICOM, call it X-ray. So we want to get some medical imaging. In the real world, this will be coming from your uh, provider uh, hospital networks, uh, your pack systems, and you'll be getting that data, hopefully de-anonymized uh, so you can uh, do some labeling against that. Maybe the nurses are going to be annotated in the documents, but here we're going to walk through that workflow, what it could looks like. So DICOM X-ray annotation for DICOM images or X-ray images, save this. Now it's going to ask us to import the data sets we want folks to to label or to annotate. Now you might be asking, but through how are you going to get DICOM images that are compliant and I can't just afford to grab random people's DICOM images. This is where dal -E comes into play. So here we can come in, let's do X-ray images or we can do DICOM images. We know dal -E generates uh, synthetic data. So just like that, we have four images generated by dal -E. Go ahead, download these four images. And the goal for doing this is to use for our demo. So those images are downloaded. I did that a second or so ago. We're going to come in here and upload that image. Right. So our images are uploading. It takes a few seconds. Go ahead and import that. We now have four images without labels sitting within an environment. I create a label task, a task to label these images. Cancel on this. You can see the actions here that you can perform. Select that. There are four tasks. You can delete the task, you can delete reviews, but what we want is to create the task so that uh, these images can be labeled. So let's go to setup. In here, you can put in the configuration, but we're going to grab this from a template. So what are the types of labeling we want uh, to do on our images? We might want computer vision, a very popular one, and this is what we're going to use because our data set is images. We might be doing segmentation, semantic segmentation to identify objects. Semantic segmentation with mask, key point labeling, visual question and answer, inventory tracking, optical character recognition, or image captioning, uh, a whole lot of options for, for this. If we're doing natural language processing, you can also identify the types of annotation or the types of labeling you might want the teams to do, a speech to a speech processing, conversational AI, ranking and scoring to test for the efficiency of models. Uh, here, there's a structured data passing, time series analysis, as well as video object tagging. So watching a video and tagging objects within that video. Let's go back to image classification is what we're going to use. Here, it does show us an image and it gives us an idea of what is within that image. So uh, these are some of the options. Let's uh, delete what we have there uh, because we're going to be working with medical images. We can say cancer. Add that, which would be one option. It's a tumor. I'm not really a medical practitioner, so the terms might not all come easy to me. Let's say 
needs surgery. For example, call doctor. I'm just throwing a few options in here for the folks that are going to do the annotation. So now they have those options. Save this options. And now those tasks have been created. The tasks have been created. Open this up and the, the folks that are doing the annotation can come in. We see this again. This is a fake image we downloaded from uh, Dal E. So this is not a real patient uh, here. Maybe having a radiologist look at this. Maybe there is a broken bone here, or maybe this is cancerous. Then they can say cancer. Just like that, they can submit that label. Label done. And we can come in here and look at this and say, oh, maybe this one needs surgery. Go to the next one. And maybe this one maybe needs surgery again. Uh, let's go to the next one. Let's come to this one. Maybe this one is a tumor. As an example, click on this and see the details. If it's not very clear, zoom in to magnify that image. Go ahead and save that. And just like that, we have all the images annotated. Again, the, the, the people putting these images might not be the one doing the annotations. Typically you want experts doing annotations, or if the annotation doesn't require expert skills, you might just want to outsource this, crowdsource this to folks to do it. But here we can update that and make sure that that is being, being saved. Coming back to the dashboard, we can see all our image has been annotated. Now, if you want uh, to use this for training our machine learning model, we can export this. It's going to ask us to create a snapshot. What do we want? What are we trying to export? Let's call this x-rays annotated. And let's uh, give this the annotated ones. So in cases where things are not annotated, you want just the ones that have been annotated, you can select that, or you want all the tasks to be downloaded, you certainly can do that. I'm just taking the generic uh, options there. It does take a few seconds. Once that's ready, you can download this either as a JSON or a CSV. A CSV essentially would have uh, the key value pair of the image and the annotation. Let's uh, check out that. So JSON. this is the CSV file we got back from the annotation. You can see the image slug, the image link as well as the unique ID and the annotation that was provided, who provided the annotation and some other metadata timestamps and all of that. Now, if your machine learning model needs to be trained on high quality annotated data, this can become a starting point to then go ahead and train that model. So going back into the UI, this is a very fascinating space. The whole idea of machine learning, AI and, and ML. The models themselves always get the limelight because that's what people get to see is that is a tangible part of all of this, but uh, without accurate data for training, especially for supervised training, which a majority of what exists out there today is, is highly supervised or at least the, the, the state of the other ones, you can certainly put things into spreadsheet and ask people to fill them up and that would work, but at scale, having tools and options to, to help with that could be something to consider and here text seems to be an option in the modern data space, I really focus on data labeling links. So all of this will be the description below. They do seem to have an API. I'm guessing you can invoke the API to get the labeled data or to label data. But guys, uh, there you have it. Some very fascinating options. Hopefully this was helpful. It's just highlighting tools like this, not in a space that gets a lot of, uh, in my opinion, a lot of attention and, and the limelight but definitely worth knowing as something that could scratch the itch for AI ML teams. So thanks for watching us. Always like this, share this with somebody that might get value out of it. This has been Fru. I'll see you in our next demo.